right, welcome to Pyramid Fitness. I'm Johnny Pyramid. I'm Robin Martin. And this is Duet Workouts. Ooh. We're going to work out today. We're going to focus on the booty. The booty, yes. The lats. And lats. And the lower abs. Well, all the abs. We're going to yeah. all that. So we're tightening you up for the swimming suit that's about to happen for you. Just okay? life. All right, yeah. let's, let's head to the workout. All right. All right, for our first set of exercises. Before we get there though, the theme today, five by 10. So five rounds yes. of everything, 10 reps on everything. And um, we're kind of d doing supersets, compound sets, kind of bringing exercises together. So always Simple two exercises. And yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So uh, first lunges, thing, lunges. Right? So they are lunges and lunges. Um, the first thing, posterior kind of static, st standing still rather and stepping back in place, alternating legs, 10. So one, two. 10 reps there. Yep, and then we did the moving forward lunges, a little bit more dynamic, um, kind of playing with whether the knee went all the way to the ground or whether it just kind of grazed there, which challenges the balance a little bit. More, exactly, I, I, and if you don't have a partner to do this workout with, give yourself 20, 30 second break. And as for a reference to weight, I was using 45 pounds. Right, and I was using 25, which is which is definitely on the heavy side for me, so. And also before you get there, uh, we did a mile run, so we warmed up, so I say it to everybody, yes. warm up before you get started. Yes, a nice turtle mile run for me. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. So uh, walking lunges and standing in place lunges, 10 and 10, five rounds, 10 reps of everything. And again, uh, just quickly on the, the knee, uh, Robin brought it up, the knee can touch the floor, make sure you don't slam it. Yes. But you can also stop just before and hover. And also, uh, torso, where should you be? Yeah, in the... um, so kind of not all the way upright, so you're not completely putting all of the weight in your lower back. There's a little bit of a going, moving forward. So not completely just collapsing over the thigh, but just a, a little bit of a hinge. Yeah, kind of think about if you were gonna you know take off running yeah. Yeah. you would lean a little bit to put weight right. into that arch of your foot and that big toe so think not just the heel everyone says heel but use right. that arch and use that big toe engage the whole foot the really arch. fine your glute yeah <laughs> all right our second exercise is we're doing the lats here the lat pull downs yes and then uh bracing as we were doing some toe raises exactly so yeah. with those pull downs really focus on getting those shoulders down yeah. expanding the ribs contracting pulling down on the bottom doing right. 10 reps on that and then right afterwards and then bracing yourself and lifting up the legs in a long lever, uh, keeping those feet flexed so the toes are pointing forward, turning those hip flexors off. Yeah, pull. you can pull your toes toward your eyes or push mm -hmm. away. She says a long lever, this is my knee, so you're doing your best you can to do 10. If you can't do that, oh, just bend the knees and do your best with bent knees, okay? <laughs> bend knees, there yeah. we go, oh, I can't bend the Yeah, that was good because I, I could only get about six of the levers in and then going right to pulling those knees in really. So it's always good, even mid-set, having yeah. ability to modify to get the those extra reps super yeah. important to being efficient and really getting more out of it modified I, I throughout. I like the heavy lat pulls right before it because it gets my breath working gets my rib cage moving like an accordion mm -hmm. I like and that. then when you're bracing you, you really have to use those lats to make sure you don't sink and fall it's the same thing in both places shoulders down lats expanded yep. chest strong stomach okay good and our last two exercises were hanging and doing yes. some floor work yep uh, the hanging exercise is great because uh, it works on that grip strength. So we're doing that long lever again, but you have to be able to move your weight back, which is really difficult for me, which I'm not used to. So that was fun. Yeah, no, no, <laughs> same thing here. Lats are engaged, right? Don't get, you yep. can't get lazy. If you're lazy, you can't really do much. You're gonna look crazy. Uh, also, pull the legs <laughs> together. Uh, yeah. Inner thighs are super important. So when yep. you're hanging there, you can try toes to bar. If you can't do it, we're gonna work on that. Uh, being engaged and learning how to pivot back into the lats and bring the knees up. Do as many as you can there and then again you can go static and just do the knees. So yep. toes, lean back, bring the toes or the shin to the bar mm -hmm. or just staying static, knees up. Yep, the static is, is great for just kind of decompressing the spine and working on that grip and the forearm strength. I think especially for women is something to work on. Yeah, everybody. You need everybody. that grip strength. Yes. Everyone needs it. True. And the last exercise, you're on the floor. Inner thighs engage. This is important. We're doing these kind of uh, momentum setups. Yes. The heels are closer to the butt, easier mm -hmm. if the heels are farther, or sorry, harder, yes. the heels are farther much away, harder. <laughs> much easier. Yeah, don't get that wrong. You'll know, he's lying to me. And then heels further away makes it a little bit easier. Also working on that curve of your spine, trying to keep the curve the whole time. Chin tucks, chin, tucks. chin starts it, rolling yeah. through the spine on the way down. That pelvis is gonna tilt and you're gonna roll through the spine, kind of finding a way to roll through using the hands to get exactly. that momentum and power. And if you can't, if, you have, if you're having a hard time keeping those knees together, then you can go ahead and put a brick or a ball or a towel in between your thighs and just keep working on that inner thigh or connection. Or a, a hot person's hand that works the best. Just put it right there, squeeze, squeeze, creepy, squeeze, creepy, and you, you'll do a hundred, okay? Creepy. So 10. Yeah. So again, five rounds of everything, 10 reps, uh, hanging and on the floor. Okay, that's it. That was it. Thanks for joining. We'll do that workout here at Equilibrium Fitness right off of the Beltline at Piedmont Park. Yep. I'm Beautiful Johnny Pierman. 
I'm Robin Martin. And uh, leave comments below. Let us know what you'd like to see as far as workouts go or tips. Uh, we're going to be having some Pilates coming up soon. Yes. Yes, we're going to get on that reformer. He'll come into my world. <laughs> yeah, you can see how uncomfortable I get. All right, yeah. thanks for joining me. Thank you. Bye.